Hey guys, let's get back into Teleglitch! You know, it's been a little while since I... I always seem to say this, but it's been a little while since I dropped off this game, so I've been really, really excited to finish up the run one way or another here. Hopefully we'll get to the last boss and we'll uh, eat lots of candy at the last room. Like we always do, Teleglitch ends with uh, Piñata. And uh, gor your scientist guy gorging on candy until he dies from diabetes. Um, let me take inventory of what we have because, uh, I don't want to be caught with my pants down. Uh, we're going to leave these two plates here. We're going to leave all the plates here. Actually, nah, pff, let's leave one plate in our inventory. Uh, keep all those, blah, blah, blah. Do I want to leave any weapons behind? I'll probably be behind the machine gun. Uh, because we're hoping to find a minigun in this level. I was I was actually hoping to find it earlier. Actually, that secret room that will let you craft it. But I guess I either didn't find it, I didn't go the path, didn't choose the path that would have let me find it, or I simply overlooked it. Um, so it looks like we're doing okay. Not too great with the ammunition. But let's, uh, let's start. Let's see what happens. Usually... At the beginning of level 10, you'll just find all sorts of monsters right away, and you'll just have to run back. Of course, going slowly, because I might be hearing footsteps. Always a bad, bad thing to have. Some explosives there. I don't completely ignoring the microchips, even though maybe I shouldn't, because the meat traps are actually pretty useful. Uh, those guys, we're going to use this machine gun to deal with them. Although, actually, a laser gun is better. There we go. Uh, too bad, no taser. Uh, they're actually a pretty good source of tasers, which are an excellent source of laser ammunition. Which, uh, which otherwise, is very short supply. Ooh, we're going to wait behind a uh, pillar. Oh, they chose different paths. That's terrible. Oh, that guy has a laser, so you, we don't want to mess with that guy. No, no shotgunning. He zapped me a couple times, we're not too worse for wear. I know this is a terrible weapon to get rid of those guys, but we have so many shotgun shells that I thought it wasn't too bad of a too bad of a deal to spam that shotgun. Uh, that could have gone a lot better, also a lot worse, so I'm not terribly concerned about the inefficient expenditure of resources against those guys. Ah, that's what I was uh, hoping not to find. Damn squid. It looks like the laser gun is excellent to get rid of those guys. I believe I already noted that before. Uh, that guy, whoever he is, he's going to get a shotgun blast straight in his nose. Except he was a damn robot. <laughs> oh, that pissed me off. Luckily... Luckily, he didn't zap me all that much. Mm -hmm. Ooh, two or more though, more of those guys. I really don't want to mess with them because they might have a laser, and the lasers uh, I have discovered in the, this last play. For well, I guess I already knew that bad, but I have definitely verified that the lasers are the absolute worst weapon you can uh, face. They'll just completely obliterate you. Where do those guys go? They must have just waited for me. Maybe they run into the teleglitch anomaly. That would have been a fresh change of pace. That would have been super nice. They must have. Either that or they just went away and hid just to piss me off later. Uh, another laser opportunity. No, that's not... Really, it takes maybe 15, sh 15 uh, laser cells, I guess we can call them. To get rid of those uh, robots, so really efficient. Wonder what that guy is. I'm not gonna take the chance. Whoa. Another laser gun. Uh... Yeah. The laser gun really is the best weapon to take care of anything with armor. Of course, you know, you can use it only so much. There's a guy with a laser. Gun. Nice one. At all. I'm just gonna shoot that. 
hell out of him at long distance. Submachine gun, that's what it's for. Still doing pretty okay with ammunition for the submachine gun, so... I feel comfortable having spent... I think this is our beloved storage area. Very nice, high velocity stuff, good. A nail box, do I even want to ma make nail bombs anymore? I'm not even gonna bother. More ammunition, beautiful. And we have lots and lots and lots of health. Uh, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, my only concern right now is an enormous amount of uh, armor. My <laughs> only concern right now is... What is it? Ammunition, yes. Ammunition is uh, starting to run a little low on the things that matter, such as the laser gun, uh, the double rifle. Uh, we just picked up some more of that stuff, so okay, we're we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I am not, I am not terribly scared of running out of things, especially when we have that machine gun, machine gun back there. I was really hoping to get a minigun out of those storage cabinets. Hopefully, it's coming. Hopefully it's not a randomized uh, loot item, it's actually something that shows up every time in level 10. Ooh. Sweet. Oh, I wasted that last shot! Psh! That is terrible, man! I was stopping uh, to make sure that the steps I'm hearing are my own. I'm carrying out the, the grenade launcher. That is not a good uh, weapon to have us uh, equipped as you turn corners. I'm really hoping not to run out of uh, that ammunition before I find something. Maybe a uh, taser would be real nice to get a taser drop out of the damn robots. What's that? I totally missed that. Uh, so we have a ton of armor to craft. And uh, remember we had yet another set of plates back at the beginning of the level so ooh, I almost run into those that asshole pipe I would have anyway because you see there's a secret room back there that I'm totally gonna get, go to get if I can manage to get through so that that's a lot of stuff and I cannot pick it up this stresses me out greatly mmm looks like it's just health possibly let's drop all this stuff for now for now only for now and just to see exactly what I'm picking up here. That's just um, uh, materials to create a teleport. And do I even want to do that? I am... Honestly, yeah, let's do it. Because I have all this other stuff. I have two medkit 50s and two medkit 25s. I would craft a stimulant if I had the materials for it. I would really like to carry those plates, but uh, not much I can drop. Mmm, decisions. I might have to forego the double rifle or actually... Eh. If I find empty cans, I'll be back for these explosives. I probably won't because this is a very obscure place to drop them, but... Uh, I won't be terribly broken up about missing those two. Uh, that that um, big explosive box. Although maybe I should, maybe I should really keep it in mind, especially if we never find that minigun. Looks like we have explored this entire area. I don't care about those storage cabinets anymore because they only had junk. So let's carry on through the main hallway here, the enormous industrial complex. Oh, that's an enemy right there. Uh, that looks like a fat guy, so let's use our rifle. Three shots should do it. If you manage to hit him. If you don't hit him, I guess it's four. And yeah, I guess the rifle is... <laughs> I guess the rifle is gonna have to go. Let's run by this turret. Ooh, uh, that was the magnetic... Uh, the magnetic shield at work. It bounced off a few of those bullets. That was pretty cool. Although it doesn't seem to do... To bounce off all of them. So I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, we'll find out. Probably the last boss will show me whether it's worth it or not. Oh, nice. I'm going to drop something right here. And I'm going to take those small explosives. I'm going to craft a stimulant for it. Did I open that door or was it an enemy? Now, there's no uh, detector going on, so... I am safe, I think. 
What did we just pick up from there? Some more rifle ammunition, so that extends the life of our rifle that much. Another guy. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, this is terrible. for the guy. Ooh, this is not a door. Um... Oh yeah, grenades! Please get super confused. Don't don't come after me. That'll be rude. Phew! <laughs> I'm so glad that door closed when it did. Uh, laser gun is depleted. Uh, I guess we'll use this if it's not dead. I think it's dead. Uh, health is down. Let's push ourselves to max uh, health and armor again, because we have all this other stuff back here, so I don't feel uncomfortable doing that. Uh, drop the other teleporter, that which, will, which we'll come back for to kill the last boss. And I'm very concerned, if we don't find that minigun, the last boss uh, fight is going to be a lot hairier than uh, it was the last time. Let's not run into goo by mistake like I've done before in this level. Especially when it has a really strange shape, you can, uh, uh, the camera can twist in a way, or rotate it. Oh, damn, another... Uh, that uh, was totally the magnetic shield uh, saving my ass right there, so I think it might be actually worth carrying. Uh, this uh, machine gun has, uh, what, a lot of ammunition? Ooh, ooh. Okay, these guys, hopefully he'll have a taser for me. No, no cigar. Mm, 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 mm. What's that laser gun that I'm going to just unload? I would really like to pick it up without any consequences. Any adverse consequences to my health. Put 10 uh, battery cells in there. Better than zero. Let's carry the submachine gun on. Ooh, another one of these guys. Uh, we picked up some uh, ammunition, but it's not gonna be enough. So, so I guess we're gonna have to use the machine gun. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Those guys, though, it's uh, kind of such a bummer because they don't drop anything that I want. Another plate that is nice. No loot over here. Another plate that I, I do have room to carry. So let's let's put it in my inventory, even though I don't know if I'll ever get to use them honestly this is just a weird nook in here that does absolutely nothing for me uh, I have so many shotgun shells I'm going to use them to shoot the walls maybe there's a secret back there even though I did not as anything I, I just was just goofing off really uh, okay so that's another little wing of the area explored let's find what's south or our current south uh, this entire area is usually packed with monsters, so I'm not going to be careless about it. Uh, that's another laser gun. That might be a turret, but might be some also something else. Uh, that, that is absolutely a turret. turret. Um, let's carry this machine gun. Yeah. Okay, that, that was pretty cool. So two shots of... Oh, nice. Excellent. Uh, two shots of this uh, high, highly penetrate penetrating rifle are enough to get rid of uh, of a turret. So it's a pretty good uh, weapon to to deal with the turrets. Excuse me. Like I mentioned in a other video, I don't know if you have watched already, I am feeling the beginning symptoms of a terrible, terrible cold. So you might hear nasty noises that you would otherwise rather avoid, but that's, you know, I hope it won't be too bad. And here's uh, the room that we typically find that I'm always that's too bad I don't have a meat trap. If I find a canned meat, if I find some canned meat, there's microchips and explosives uh, in other places of this level. Oh man, this is a dead end. So there must be an area though I have not explored yet because, or yeah, I guess the arrangement of the rooms has placed, uh, I have no option but to go through all these places because uh, the arrangement of the rooms is so that uh, the last boss is behind these pipe rooms. Usually it's not, at least in my previ previous experience of uh, the two other times I've been here. I guess I can. It's not uh, warranted to say that usually. Anyway, that's a lot of uh, words to say that I had to tr trigger these pipes. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a efficient way to do that. 
But honestly, well, I do have the shotgun. That sounds like a fine, fine way to deal with all these guys. Probably should have done that. <laughs> At least they didn't cover me. I'm going to just come back here and just start shooting the crap out of them. <laughs> oh, the Walking Dead. It's like I'm playing Left 4 Dead all over again. I'm reloading kind of by habit, I don't really know if I have shells left. But I think uh, this sequence alone is worth one can meat out of that. Are you serious? That is that is a terrible, terrible thing to do to me. That, that was okay. Two is alright, I guess. You shouldn't have straggled there, now I singled you out. Now you were the odd man out. You were uh, shunned by all your friends. Uh, I'm going to pick up this canned meat. Do I even care about making a meat trap anymore? Honestly, I don't. So I'm just going to consume this stuff. And I have two empty cans. <sighs> I could use a Panzerfaust. Yeah, let's go back for those explosives that are left behind. I know it's backtracking. I said I wouldn't uh, worry too much about it. But, you know, it's the last boss. And I don't have a minigun yet. So... I think I need as many explosives as I can possibly get, so I'm going to throw a missile at the, the last boss. Uh, I think I'm going the right way. I'm pretty positive I'm going the right way. Uh, we drop that explos those explosives inside a, a pipe that I think is this way. Excellent. I actually didn't, uh, didn't uh, screw up the way I was going. Let's make a Panzer Faust. Whoop. Pick those plates back up. Uh, I'm bring, uh, feeling very, very confident on a uh, uh, health standpoint, not so much on an ammunition standpoint. Because, uh, uh, really, what do we have to deal with the last boss? I guess I'll just have to go back and get that machine gun. Uh, it's better than nothing. And I do have a shitload of ammunition for the machine gun. I really want that minigun, though. But I guess, you know, it's. The silver lining is you'll see a different way to deal with the last boss as opposed to just using up the minigun again like a, a resource-less gamer. You know, oh, I'm just going to rely on this one tactic now instead of, instead of trying something new. That is not the way you want to play, man. You want to always try to do something new and exciting. So, yeah, let's hope I don't get that minigun because if I do get it... Ooh, if I do get it, I will totally use it. Because I'm too chicken to, you know, gimp myself on purpose. Okay, that... Is this? Yeah, that's the last boss. I almost walked in there. Uh, we're going to explore the rest of the level because I am unable not to do it. I'm unable not not doing it. I don't think I phrased that right, but you know you know what I mean. You know what I mean, man. Let's see if I can not trigger this pipe. And this is what I was hoping for. There is the minigun. I guess we're going to totally use that minigun. If I were able to pick it up. Um, I believe the rifle, I think the rifle doesn't have anything left, so let's replace it with a minigun. And it looks like we're done and ready to go. We're not going to worry about those uh, explosives. Let's weave behind, between these pipes that I have absolutely nothing I would want. I've never seen those guys drop any loot, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, let's uh, organize this stuff in a way. The Tesla call is no longer useful. I, I think, I mean, I'm not sure if it does uh, structural damage. I think it doesn't. I'm not going to take the risk. So the submachine gun probably won't help at all, but it will be one of my last resources. The grenade launcher, same same deal. The shotgun, also the same deal. So we have these three weapons that will cause structural damage. They, we have the Panzer Faust, and I would really like to... Mm -mm -mm. Let's move the yellow stuff down, down here. And the power leg. Sorry for taking so long to do this, but you know you always want to want to have all your resources available. And I'm going to take the stimulant right away, and it looks like we're ready to rumble. As uh, usual, we're going to start with the missiles, even though you know I'm tempted to simply start with the minigun. Anyway, let's stop wasting time, valuable stimulant time, and walk in. I 
effing that up. Oh, reloading. Oh, the laser. No. Ah, oh, it's too bad. I wanted to get into the guy. Oh. Uh, let's take some health and uh, craft some more armor. Why the hell not? No! <laughs> you watch that laser coming, it's like... I don't know why I'm using these weapons now. I'm kind of just randomly spamming all my stuff. Oh, this, that's why... Alright, the last boss is done! Sweet! Too bad in the... Uh, I probably could have uh, done that achievement. Suck it, you stupid robot, I hate you. <laughs> uh, I have beaten Teleglitch. Now I just need to find the way out of here. There we go. Wonder what happens if you go... Uh, wonder if anything happens if you go in here. Let's find out. Ah, pff, I thought maybe I would uh, make my brain explode or something. We have finished the game a second time. I did rely on the minigun quite a bit, but it looks like the grenade launcher can also uh, beat that stuff. Actually, anything that will cause structural damage to a secret room, I guess, also works to beat the last boss. But absolutely, the minigun is the fastest resource to do it. And, you know, fuck yeah, I made it! I'm not going to read this thing again because I already read it, but we actually beat the game a second time. That is awesome. I was so hoping that would be the outcome of this run. You know, that's not going to stop me because uh, there's some DLC that was released. Uh, it is very tiny, but I'm totally going to get it and play with it and see what's uh, new in it. So that's what's coming in the next run of Teleglitch. Until then, I bid you farewell.